What's up, dudes? I'm just standing by my garden to seed right now. So it looks just kind of, uh. <laughs> but we do have, let's see, the Empress of India is still blooming. Look how cool those leaves are. That's called a nasturtium. You can call it nasty for sure. <laughs> those are totally edible too. Every part of that plant is edible. Really good in salad. Which is a good, a good intro to what Spirit wanted to talk about. Like we should never judge anybody by what food they eat. Ever. So attention vegans, vegetarians, and meat eaters. We should never judge anybody by what food they eat. Okay. So Spirit wants to talk about Hofton and his friend Shaq. So there used to be this Viking that traveled all around the world named Hofton. And he had his BFF bro, um, homeboy, who was a black man that looked just like Shaquille O'Neal. Now picture Shaquille O'Neal and a big burly Viking dude who were adventurers. And they would travel all around the world. And they were best friends. And Hofton would tag different places he had been with Hofton was here. So, which leads to nutrition. Hofton, as well as, as Shaq, his friend, are meat eaters. They eat a lot of meat, like meat and potato type people. They are on a boat and they, it's just them two, and they've been on their boat on the sea for fucking ever and they're fucking hungry. Here comes an island. This is how Legends are made. Either. So they dock up their. <laughs> they dock, a dock might mean something. They shore up their boat. I just heard shore lunch. And they step out onto the beach. And the local native tribe that lives there all start coming out of the, the woods. And they are all very small statured people. They're all about five foot three. Very pale complexion, very, very light skin. Very slight people. Because their island only has fruits and vegetables on it. They don't eat meat. They're not fisher people. They just live off fruits and vegetables of their island. Therefore, and they have done it for so long, therefore, that's what their DNA now produces. So here comes people twice the size of them, and neither of them have ever seen anybody like that before. And then the tribal people have never seen a black person before have never seen a imagine being so secluded you've never seen anyone as tall as Shaquille O'Neal and he shows up with that big Shaquille O'Neal smile these people say giants exist here comes the legend do giants exist of course they exist go to any NBA game They've always existed. It depends who you're asking though. That little tribe of vegan, <laughs> vegan vegetarian people, 
Yeah, they'll tell you giants exist. And he's a god. His skin is totally different than us. Yeah. So they started freaking the fuck out and said, oh my god, this god and his helper came visited. So they lay a bunch of coconuts, mangoes, bananas, all sorts of stuff out for them. Those two have traveled. They've met all sorts of people from all around. And they know that they're blowing these people's mind, but they're trying to be kind about it. You know? And they eat the offering. And then Hofton looks at Shaq and says, I'm still fucking hungry. Yeah, that appetizer barely did anything for my large frame. Do you want to push off, see if we can find another island that has a fucking chicken or something? Anyone who's a fisher person? Shaq says, yeah, let's split. We're out of here. They wave to the tribe. A nice smile. A couple of bows. Pat their tummy. Thank you for the food. Now that food would have fed those people. That was a generous offering that those people with their diet had. Not enough for the for Shaq and Hofton's vessel though. So they push off, sail off into the sunset, and now that tribe has a brand new god named Shaq. He becomes a legend that's told generation to generation about gi giants coming. That's how that happens. So we have to remember we should never judge anybody by what food they eat. Because we're, our bodies, I call them vessels, our bodies are like a car. And some cars run just fine on unleaded. Some need diesel. Some need super unleaded. And some run on electricity. And so if, if, we're, if a bunch of electric cars are passing judgment on a vessel that runs on diesel, yeah, that's not very fair. All right, so there's the message. Somebody might be getting a new deck, building a new deck or building a staircase or something. All right, there's the message. Thank you, Empress.